During an emergency, you will need people to support you. If you need to leave a building quickly, a fire person or a police officer is often the one to assist you. But other people like neighbors, co-workers, friends, or church members may also be able to help you. In fact, they may be there first. Support people can help you in different ways. They can tell you when there is an emergency. They can assist you in walking or even carry you. They can check on you in your home. Since an emergency can happen at any time, it is important to think about all of the places you go during the week. You might be at home, work, a day habilitation program, a therapy session, a recreation program or a class, a special event, or on the road. Think about who would be your support persons at each place if an emergency happens and how they can help you. You can list your support people on the form called My Routine Activities. Look at the sample to give you some ideas of the places you might be. Now fill in your information. Write down the name of the person who can support you if you need help at each place. You will also need to think of who will be your main contact person. This should be a family member, legal guardian, or close friend. This is the person you will call to plan what to do next. It should be someone who lives nearby. It is helpful to also have a contact that lives in another area. Sometimes in an emergency, it is easier to reach a person who lives farther away if the local phone lines are too busy. Speak to all of your support persons from your activities lists and contact persons to make sure they are willing and able to help you. Get their correct phone numbers and addresses. Tell each one what help you might need. Let's add some things to your things to do list. Once you have a final list of contact and support people, Write their names on Form E in your personal emergency plan.